Aurora Mayor and Republican gubernatorial hopeful Richard Irvin backed a successful effort to shut down a local election commission. That's a move that gives him more power in deciding whether certain candidates can stay on city ballots. Chicago Tonight's Nick Blumberg has been looking into this story and joins us now. Uh, Nick, what was the Aurora Election Commission and why did opponents like uh, Richard Irvin want it shut down? Well, Paris, the Aurora Election Commission had a similar function to the Chicago Board of Elections, registering voters, a ruling on challenges to candidates nominating petitions, administering elections. Supporters said that since the city of Aurora sits in multiple counties, it was efficient to have a centralized body to handle elections. But opponents said that it was superfluous because the respective counties to handle uh, could handle those elections and it was a financial drain. Opponents had tried multiple times to get the commission shut down. And in 2018, they got a referendum on the ballot to do just that, and that uh, referendum eventually passed by more than 1,400 votes. Now, in a statement about why he thought the commission should be eliminated, Irvin's gubernatorial campaign spokesperson, Eleni Demertzis, told us, Mayor Irvin is proud of his strong record in cutting wasteful spending and eliminating meaningless units of government like the Aurora Election Commission. As governor, he will finally bring responsible leadership to this state by fighting to reduce wasteful spending, enact permanent tax cuts, and put more money in the pocketbooks of Illinois families. And as we mentioned, Nick, now Irvin himself has a role in overseeing the battle how did that come about? Well, with the commission gone, state law outlines the local officials who oversee ballot challenges for municipal candidates. In the case of Aurora, it's Irvin, the city clerk he appoints, and the senior member of the Aurora City Council. Now, last year, Irvin and other members of the board ruled that Ron Worman, an aldermanic candidate, could remain on the ballot amid challenges that he hadn't lived in Aurora long enough and that there were irregularities with his petitions. Uh, despite conflict of interest claims, because Irvin and Worman are friends. An attorney advising the board said that Irvin reportedly did not need to recuse himself. Irvin later transferred money from his campaign fund to Worman, who was eventually elected. Now, this system where elected and politically appointed officials determine ballot eligibility, it's a function of state election law and it's used in other cities and towns around the state. But advocates for election law reform say it's rife with the potential for conflicts of interest and a disservice to voters. The people who are sitting on these electoral boards and who are deciding who gets to stay on the ballot when these petition challenges come to them, they have a direct stake in who wins these elections and therefore who gets to be on the ballot. It's an inherent conflict of interest. They're going to be um, biased towards um, their friends and their allies uh, who may well be incumbents um, and they're going to be less disposed to judge favorably challengers or people that they don't think will vote for them once if they manage to get elected into office. And Nick, there was a campaign uh, that took place to eliminate this election camp uh, commission. And as you found, some, some similar campaign donors that we've seen in some of our previous investigations into Irvin. That's right, Paris. Irvin's own mayoral campaign fund contributed $2,500 toward that effort to shut the commission down. And other financial backers include many of the people and businesses you and I have been reporting on in recent weeks that have gotten lucrative city deals and heavily backed Irvin and other campaign funds tied to him. We've got all the details about that web of campaign money on our website, as well as much more about other charges of conflict of interest and of improper proper use of city funds as part of the effort to shut down that election commission. All right, Nick Blumberg, thank you very much. Thank you.